Hello guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. So today's vlog is all going to be about NFT. So what does this NFT stands for? Non-fungible tokens. So let's understand first what does non-fungible or the word fungible mean. So the word fungible means is when you invest a certain amount of money in a certain uh, goods or a certain thing so it doesn't provide any kind of return of investment uh, on it and it doesn't have any kind of rarity or it's a normal thing present on the market and it has a normal street value but if you consider the word non-fungible so this non-fungible means it has a certain amount of rate return of investment value on it first of all and second thing those are rare things they are one-offs they cannot be reproduced and if they are reproduced then these reproduced goods doesn't have any kind of street value on them so the examples of fungible things here are simple like this t-shirt i'm wearing or let's say a coconut or anything which does not provide any kind of significant rate return of investment value on them and they are easily available in the market they can be found anywhere and they are available at a very nominal price or a market value but the examples of non-fungible tokens or let's just uh, say non-fungible things here are uh, the painting of Mona Lisa the painting of Salvatore Mundi or Ferrari 250 GTO these are one of the non-fungible things which cannot be reproduced and if they are reproduced they do not carry any kind of value on them also they are super expensive let's just understand that thing so these are the basic examples of fungible and non-fungible things what does this non-fungible token work on which principle so this non-fungible token works on the principle of blockchain so this blockchain technology is the same technology which has been used by the cryptocurrencies around the world for trading purposes so how does this blockchain technology work so in this blockchain technology there is a ledger which is stored on the various servers or the various computers around the world and whenever a certain person like me if i trade this cryptocurrency or if i spend it so this ledger is maintained by these computers which are present all around the world by calculating by doing some minor calculations or major calculations or heavy calculations and they maintain this ledger and that's how this blockchain technology works for example if you go in a bank and if you have let's say a thousand dollars or let's say one lakh rupees so if you want to buy something which is a, a worth uh, hundred dollars or let's say five thousand rupees so you pay the uh, pay for that thing in currency like dollars or rupees and the payment is done by the bank and everything is maintained by the bank here also it is similar but there are no presence of banks these individual computers they maintain all the ledger and all the record of your spending and earning of these cryptocurrencies so uh, where these nfts are stored so nfts are stored on a cryptocurrency known as ethereum so believe me guys this ethereum is the most energy using cryptocurrency in the world so there are no exact figures where they have said that this cryptocurrency uses this particular amount of energy in this uh, world but according to my research uh, they have told that it uses the same amount of energy per hour which a country uses every year if you want this nft and you have the cryptocurrency for which this token is available let's say 300 to uh, 300 ethereum coins or 300 bitcoins so when you spend that 300 bitcoins or ethereum coins all you receive is that token so now this token can be anything 
anything you desire like a art form let's say a digital art form or some nba basketball slam dunk videos yes you heard me right those are also available they were traded at around 380 million dollars in 20 and 2021 and you want a certain amount of cards which are uh, only available digitally like logan paul's uh, boxing card and these are the things which are basically available in the form of tokens and you can buy them by spending your uh, bitcoin or your cryptocurrency uh, in exchange of these tokens so there are various other kind of uh, nfts present in this uh, world like for example there is a nft which is known as every day is the f first 5000 days it was worth 69.3 million dollars it started its bidding at 100 dollars but it went higher and higher and it was sold at 69.3 billion 69.3 million dollars so next is crossroads which costs around 6.6 .6 million dollars and the first tweet obviously by mr jack dorsey it went or it was sold at around 2.9 million dollars the crypto punk it, it, it was sold for 1.54 million dollars and there is a thing which are which is found in a particular game and it is known as axis axi infinity genesis land so it is kind of a land in some game and it is very rare it is known as a bundle of ronin 9 genesis plots and it was sold for around 1.5 million dollars also there is this not forgotten but gone 1 million dollar some kind of art form and the, so these are some kind of art forms which are present in this nft world so this nft uh, trading took a boom from around 2017 which was worth up to 41 million dollars in 2017 and after that it rose to up to 500 million dollars in 2021 so i hope so you guys have enjoyed this different world of nfts or this cryptocurrencies and this blockchain technology and i hope so i have made you understand this different world of internet in simple terms and as quickly as possible so i hope so to see you guys in the next vlog and thank you for watching this vlog i'll see you later